Okay, we are about to multiply a binomial by a binomial. And there's a special method that we use called FOIL. And we're gonna, gonna kind of try to illustrate it here. I'm going to draw a green line over the first terms in each binomial and they will be called first. Then, if you look at each binomial side by side, I am going to connect with a red line the outside terms of the two binomials. Then with a blue line, I'm going to connect the inside terms of the two binomials. And then with a black line, which actually looks more green, but I meant for it to be black, I'm going to connect the last terms of the two binomials. So here again are, are our two binomials. And I'm multiplying the first two terms. I'm multiplying the outside terms. I'm multiplying the inside terms. And I'm multiplying the two last terms. And then I add them. So there's my F and my O and my I and my L of FOIL. That will give me 15x squared plus negative 21x plus 10x plus negative 14. So I'll have 15x squared. Notice that the two middle terms are like terms, so I can combine them. And there we have the answer. 15x squared minus 11x minus 14. Okay, now we are going to multiply a binomial. This is very tricky. People miss this a lot. Be sure to always separate the binomials. After all, 2x minus 3 quantity squared means that 2x, is go 2x minus 3 is going to be multiplied by itself. So you're going to have to FOIL 2x times 2x, the first two terms, plus 2x times negative 3, the outside terms, plus negative 3 times 2x, the inside terms, 
plus negative 3 times negative 3, the last terms. So I'll have 4x squared plus negative 6x plus negative 6x plus 9. So the final answer is 4x squared, well almost the final answer, plus negative, x, negative 12x plus 9. Now the final answer is 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay, one more thing. We are going to multiply two binomials that have a very special relationship, a relationship we're going to use a lot. We're going to FOIL these. So 2x times 2x two x times negative three three times two x and three times negative three. And I add those terms. Now I'll have 4x squared plus negative 6x plus positive 6x plus negative 9. Look what happens to the negative 6x and the 6x. The middle terms disappear. So our final answer is going to be 4x squared minus 9. I heart conjugates. Conjugates, I think, are among my favorite things in algebra.